Oh, what? Oh my goodness. What are you doing? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Hey, Zay. Hey, Cam. You ever sit down just with some time to yourself and have a big old milky breakfast? <laughs> some would call that a serial moment. What's going on, everybody? Welcome to the YouTube channel. My name is Cam. This is Zay. And today, we are getting into the movie Serial Mom. This will be our reaction to it. This is a movie that both Zay and I have not seen before. Um, you know, it's 1994. It's rated R. And apparently, it's about a murderous mother who will do anything to protect her kids. So... Um, what is going to take place in this movie? I don't know. Uh, it can't, it, I know it's a comedy, a dark comedy. Uh, so, you know, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I know about it, but it, the, the it's set up to have a lot of crazy shit I'm sure happen in this movie, but, uh, there's only one way to find out. But before we do, Zay, is there anything you know about this movie before we get into it? No, super excited to get into this one for sure. Going to be interesting to see. Okay, well, with that being said, if you like what you're watching, leave a like down below, subscribe to stay tuned for more if you're not already, and if you want to watch a full-length reaction to this or various other movies, as well as get three edited movie reactions ahead of YouTube, or even farther ahead in the form of full-length reactions, or potentially become a big bite member where you could suggest one full-length reaction to a movie of your choice once per month that may or may not make it as an edited reaction on YouTube. You can check that out on page on the link for that is in the description. Speaking of big bite, this was a big bite request from Kurt. So thank you, Kurt, for the big bite request. Super excited to see what this one's all about. With that being said, let's not keep you guys waiting any longer. Let's get into Serial Mom. And the film is a true story. What? The screenplay is based on court testimony, sworn declarations, and hundreds of interviews conducted by the film. No shot. No way. You know they're bad for the teeth. Always the dentist. Who wants fruit salad? Oh, she looks crazy. Yeah. Who, may I ask, is Carl? Just a boy. He's picking me up this morning. Oh no, poor Carl. Oh fuck. Listen oh. to this. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Angel like She's like, I'm oh, my fucking butter. You kill people, Mom. We all have our bad days. <laughs> oh gosh. Victim. <laughs> Damn. Damn. Damn, that, that looks like a crime scene in and of itself. Yeah, I don't think, I mean, I've gotten flies. I don't think I've ever had one like look like that after. <laughs> oh, Sutton? she, they oh, found fly. out what she did to the fry. Yeah. A fly. This is our son, Chip, and our daughter, Misty. Hi. Jeez. Okay. Relax. Yeah. You take a look at this and tell us of anyone who might be responsible. Oh, my. <laughs> Let me see. No, son. This. They act like how? Dude, he looks like he's twenty nine. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> life doesn't have to be ugly. See, look at the birds out there. Listen to their call. The fly is like, what the fuck did he just say? <laughs> what she said? Don't listen to her. <laughs> <laughs> Carl almost crashed. Misty's date. Well, more of a friend, really. Damn. Damn. That mom's like, did you just offend my daughter? <laughs> <laughs> I hear something you should be interested in. A grown boy who doesn't wear his seatbelts. <laughs> They're all like, get back in the house. Every single person. <laughs> Every person's <laughs> like, I got you. Oh, they gave us a timestamp of 937. I want to see how much nefarious activity goes down before noon, if it's possible. Hello? Is this the cocksucker residence? All right, well, there's one. What? <laughs> you bitch! Now let me check the zip code. 212, fuck you! Damn, she's got a she's got a dark side. I said 937. I want to see how much nefarious activity. She already prank called someone. <laughs> Beverly, you home? Oh, shit. I know you are. It's insane back in the day people yeah, would just you walk just, into your you, house. You just trespass. You just, uh, like, fucking they just walk into someone's home. <laughs> I, like, you get shot nowadays. <laughs> Motherfucker! Are you all right? Oh, yes, of course, I'm fine. 
You're so lucky that door somehow muffled everything you said. So she heard her. Rah, 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 rah. About poor Daddy Hinkle? Yes, I did. Okay, she's got to be like legitimately a sociopath. She's a sociopath. She's just, yeah. yeah. Oh, oh yeah, nah, fucking way. Oh. I would have got out of my fucking car already. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's Daddy, dude. <laughs> no good. fucking shit. She's gonna hit her. She's gonna hit Daddy. <laughs> she oh, might crank it. Wait, she, might she crank did you. all that because Daddy parked in her spot without even knowing it was her. Yeah. That was your that was your post traumatic fucking flashback of Dottie. <laughs> okay, she's I'm not gonna really lie. Crazy. A little Terrible. warranted. <laughs> oh my gosh. You can't do that to someone's parking spot. Mrs. Sutphin, I'm Paul Stubbins, this is Chip's math teacher. Oh, it's so nice to meet you. Well, fruitcake. Well, thank you, Mrs. Sutphin. I want to try fruitcake. It looked good in I have cartoons. I'm feeling it's exactly as what I think it is. Not good, like, I feel like. I feel like, like it, it tastes like bland. It looks good in cartoons, though. <laughs> He's a good boy. There is one big problem, though. Oh, no. His unhealthy obsession with sick horror films. I caught him drawing this in class last week. <laughs> well, like mother, like son. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Stubbins, we are a loving and supportive family. We are doing something wrong. <laughs> okay, all right. Thank you for taking the time. All right. Well, you're you're, you're on the next, list now. Buddy. You're yeah. on the list. Get, get ready to get it be called a cock sucking horde. Moment yeah, here. You motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, damn. Oh, damn. Oh. And she's smiling. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, she ain't done. There's a I'm chick watching walking. this go down by a tree, by the way. A student. Yeah. Oh, God. <laughs> Oh. It's not the weed, girl, but you better run. She's like, I don't know what they laced oh, this with. Oh, that was the gum? Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, so she is a psychopath. I mean, she's just. There fucking, we go. She's, yeah, confirmed. She's literally unhinged. Carl says if I lose 10 pounds, he'll take me to the University of Maryland Memorial Day Beach. <laughs> You want to go on vacation? Get on the treadmill, fatty. <laughs> it's fucking crazy. <laughs> a teacher at your school has been murdered. Murdered? Who? Dubbins. That's my math teacher. Dad. Don't act surprised. You know exactly what the fuck's <laughs> going on, you wench. Paul Stubbins was 38 years old. Whoever did this should get the death penalty. Yeah, we know your stance. <laughs> <laughs> Blue car. Oh, no, that one. Uh, She's a stoner. That's like your car, Beverly. Oh, careful. <laughs> <laughs> you accusing me, Rosemary? <laughs> you said you hated him. He was an asshole, but he didn't deserve to die. She's like, what? <laughs> <laughs> I thought, were we not on the same page? <laughs> God! Mom! What's the matter? Oh, it's just time to get up, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Could you that, imagine just... If my, my, get... my mom ever woke me up like that. Oh, it's time, it's time to get up. I'll kill him. Um, don't use words no, unless No, no, honey, I'll kill him. <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> I'll take care of it. Did you drive your car to the PTA meeting yesterday, Mrs. Sutton? Yes, I did. She did it. Named the car right at Mr. Stubbins and mowed him down. <laughs> that kid's oh, okay. dead. I'm just yeah, even, making even a list of people that are going to die. As I understand it, the only eyewitness was a drug user. Now here's a babe. <laughs> oh, you can tell by the subscription label. I don't like to read about movies. They're so violent. Uh, oh, it's missing so the feet. Yeah. She's on Rosemary right under the bus. Oh, that won't fly. <laughs> <laughs> she, <laughs> just. <laughs> oh, oh my God! No, apparently I was too merciful. <laughs> All rinse and ready to recycle. Good morning, Miss Sutton. Good morning, guys. Little drink never hurt anybody. Thank you, ma'am. Drinking and driving. Yeah. For one of them. At like 8 a.m. <laughs> I have told her and told her. It takes 90 to 100 years for a tin can to decompose. I hate Mrs. Ackerman. 
I hate her too. She, she really doesn't care about she's leaving done. evidence either. <laughs> she's done. Somebody ought to kill her. Yeah. Oh, It's no. funny you say that. <laughs> For the sake of this planet, somebody just might. No, you're not a superhero. This is so twisted. <laughs> For the sake of this planet. Please, ma'am. We beg you. Are those pussy willows? <gasps> you said Dried pussy. Ones. Oh, look. Yeah, no. Oh. Pussy willows, Donnie. Oh. Oh, what? oh my goodness! What are you doing? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! You're sorry, aren't you, Dottie? Rosemary, I did not break she your is egg. Gaslighting hard. Now Misty tells me there's a whole booth filled with Franklin Mint stuff. Yo, she's like toying with her prey before she fucking kills him. <laughs> Mass murder in Houston? I'm sure those are my son Chip's books. No, they're your wife's. Browse and learn bookshop. Along with a few other types. Okay, so she could have bought them for her son. Yeah. Dr. Sutphin, is your wife mental? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Fucking yeah. I hate them. Always something, isn't it? Is that clown real? I don't think so. I gotta see it Thanks again. Thanks for not buying anything. Misty, honey. Oh Damn. my gosh. I think Misty's a little mental herself. Yeah, like, like, oh. Like mother, like daughter. Yeah, no. She, oh, Carl's fucking dead. Let me keep this on the table for you, if you don't mind. It was on sale. Well, that's gonna be a murder weapon in about less than two hours. Honey, please. Oh, my bedroom shit. Kill her too, cause the way she's talking, both of them gotta go. Mm. Honey, I have to take a piss. Big mistake. <laughs> 11:30 a.m. A murder's about to occur. I don't know why. I guess that that's why they put the time in, but. Okay. Um... He's like, I'm gonna get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh! Ooh, was that his bladder? Oh my god. Honestly. <laughs> <laughs> she fucking slipped on it. <laughs> I thought she was going like a banana peel. Oh, Yo, that's the tough. disrespect is crazy. There was a lady in the men's room, I swear. Ah! Ooh, what's her reaction gonna be? Ah! Ah! He's like, you knew her? You knew him? Hmm. Someone murdered Carl in the men's room. I just saw his dead body. We got you wished here. I didn't want him dead. Well, be careful of your words. <laughs> He's gonna, she's gonna make her feel guilty. Yeah. Yeah, see what you just gonna, what? You better say something. Yo, she doesn't Dummy. care what has blood on it. She's like a real, she is a serial killer. Point, period, done. And is infatuated with them too. These are her trophies. Beverly, it's me, Ted Bundy. It's lonely here on death row. <laughs> <laughs> he popped that shit right back out. Chip, our mother is Charles Manson. <laughs> what? <laughs> You said you hated your teacher yesterday, and he was murdered too. Hey, let's make a gore movie about mom. If you suspect your mom for killing people that you hate, and you wanted to test this theory and say you hate someone else and find out that they got murdered later, are you an accomplice now in that murder because you knew there was a possibility that they would be murdered based off of your hypothesis? Yeah, because I think what you should do in that situation is I think you should alert the police and then set up <laughs> and then set up a sting to be like, I hate this person. Yeah, and have I the police so. track the yeah. person. Pray for the strength to understand the terrible tragedies of the last few days. Amen to that. <laughs> We're on to you, Beverly. <laughs> it is Beverly Suckfin. I tell you, I saw blood right there on the bottom of her shoes. Nice as pie she was to me, and then I hear her say it. I mean, she definitely had no problem leaving tracks. Yeah. I can't say the word out loud. 
Could you tell a police woman the exact words she used? Maybe. You can't say pussy to the man, but you could. It's okay. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Come on. <laughs> Are you gonna get fucking beat up for? <laughs> pussy Willow. I'm glad you said that Jeez. to her, ma'am. Yeah, you would have had to arrest you if you said it to mouth. me. <laughs> <laughs> Could you imagine? Yikes, lady. Fucking language. I think you're the killer. <laughs> she said, pussy will arrest her right now. <laughs> Unbecoming of a woman. Oh, fuck. Just a second. She just got from dinner and got in the car. I'd be like, oh, she's a murderer. All right. Got time to go to another country. <laughs> I'm the... <laughs> Hold that thought. <laughs> just <fucking laughs> never leaves. comes back. Yeah, just never, no contact ever again. They're like, <laughs> just ignoring the cop behind you. How did she go this long <laughs> without being <laughs> arrested? Like. <laughs> 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 Mom is psycho. Scotty will still be okay, won't he? No. No. We hope so, son. Well, that's at least he's honest. Mm. Oh God, it's like listen to a mukbang. Like I don't want to hear that. Sh what are you sad that they're eating chicken? You're gonna murder them? She's over like, she's chicken? like, I love birds, and <laughs> you're eating a chicken. Come here. <laughs> I mean, no one's home, brother. You do? Do you need a blanket? Like you're, just, you're by yourself. I never understood this. When someone sees an open window, like they're not like, I definitely didn't shut that. Sirens go off in my head. I'd yeah, be like, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm leaving the house. Is it a bird? Did she put a bird in there? Ooh, ooh! What's with this like cut oh, between everybody? Oh. Yeah, what the fuck's the mouse no, doing? Was a leg? Was like, attacking her? <laughs> Why was it licking her leg? Man, man, oh. man! That's not a ruined ruined a great time, time for that kid. Oh, wow. Fucking assassin. <laughs> she learned from Kill Bill. No way. This Looney Tune ass way to take him out. Help me, somebody! Help me! I'm sorry, Ralph, but you had so you much saw time. Scissors coming at you twice and you dodged them. Meanwhile, you stand and you watch that thing fall on you. He's like, ah! Anybody for dessert? Mmm, strawberries. That's, that was the dessert? That dessert sucks. I mean, strawberries are great, but... I mean, Shortcake, though. Right. Or strawberry cheesecake. Now that's up my alley. <laughs> <laughs> Make them go away. This is embarrassing. Just pay no attention to the police. It's all a terrible mistake. Yeah, okay. You can't go to church. You're gonna light on fire as soon as you step in. <laughs> go sloppy high. Hi. Chip! They're still drunk. <laughs> so tell me, Mrs. Sutton, are you cereal mom? What? She's headed in. Over. Today's sermon, capital punishment <laughs> and you. <laughs> They're like, no, 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 ma'am, your seat will be right up here in the front. <laughs> <laughs> Just you. Actually, take the stage. <laughs> take the stage. Lab report confirms such thin latent print of index finger on true crime book matches those latent prints listed. Oh. Oh, no, they, they got her. Yep. Lost the pig. <laughs> Holy shit, they got batons out. They're like, yeah, nah, you ain't getting nowhere. How you doing? All standing. He does not want to talk to you. <laughs> He's like, shut up. <laughs> Just... Amen. 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 Oh. Ooh. Oh. What was that? A demon coming out of her? She somehow was able to use that to get away from the thirty-five cops. Are you serious? 
Oh, what? 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 <laughs> there she is! Really? Don't help her escape. Oh, God. You're bigger than Freddy and Jason now. Only you're a real person. Oh, God. Do you think I need a lawyer? <laughs> you need an agent. <laughs> I hope, I hope all three of you go to prison for life. <laughs> You're right, it's actually pissing me off that she's not getting caught. I know. Hi, Hal. Misty Sutton, get in this car. <laughs> Yo, dad's had enough of her shit. <laughs> He's about to snap. <laughs> You're over here taking a photo shoot. Your mother's on the run. <laughs> <laughs> Yes. We're tailing Sutphin, husband and daughter, Genius. but serial mom is nowhere in sight. Go to the video store. Bye, mom. Customers. Oh, Texas uh, Chainsaw Massacre. We Hell saw yeah. That. Haven't you had enough violence, Chip Sutphin? Turn. Oh my gosh. She literally she... just is. She doesn't care about getting caught or something. $3.99. Keep the change, you son of a psycho. Well, you couldn't even know how accurate you were. Right, Mom? Hey, Mom? Your mom's hunting her down currently. <laughs> She's... Shit! You don't think she would? She wouldn't. What's Miss Jensen's address? <laughs> she would. <laughs> she would. She will. Really would. And she's on her way. So many people at play here. Yeah, I know. What is it, Sylvester? That dog better not get touched. Yeah. Come on, lick mommy's feet. What? Get them all. <laughs> oh my god. You know what? This is the one I'll condone. <laughs> you can take her out. You can take her out. She didn't rewind the film and she just had her dog lick her toes <laughs> with a green jello, green jello and ham sandwich. Get Everybody's her fucking got out. She's gotta go. Personality. <laughs> okay, she's nice to the dog. That thing looks moldy as fuck, though. Damn. Oh, damn. Oh, damn. Or should I say ham? Oh. <laughs> 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 Oh, you're oh fuck, you Scotty, now. run! Oh, oh look at that, that look she gave her for She's him. Like, you're like, ex <laughs> oh my god! No! Dog is like, fuck, fuck off, this lady made you look. Fuck off, I got the ham. <laughs> it wasn't like the car movies at all. It was real. <laughs> what do you think she was fucking? <laughs> she thought it was special effects. <laughs> Bro, how are you getting caught by her? Well, she's booking it. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, she that. is. She's not missing a but single stride. She's got stride. like Michael Myers teleportation. <laughs> she's like all of a sudden there. Where? Your seatbelt! It's a law! What the fuck? That is not what your grievance is with him. Oh my god. He's about to. Oh, please. What the fuck? This <laughs> ma'am. That would have been my reaction. Off. That would have been my yeah. Fuck it. I would have just hit the gas. Like, what's she gonna do? Stab through? Stab through glass? Oh, his window was down. Dear God, I promise I'll never watch another sex film again. I promise. You won't. You don't make that promise. That's a promise you can't keep, brother. <laughs> yeah, we've seen your habits. <laughs> we've seen your habits. I mean, I thought that thing was gonna flip and roll. Close. Have you seen mom? No, have you? Yeah, she's right there. Well, not there. She's doing kiss. <laughs> hi, hi, guys. I'm gonna go kill your friend. All units, serial mom is headed south on Keswick. Proceed with caution. She is armed and fucking nuts. <laughs> Honestly, I, if love these... the, well, I love the liners in this Yeah, movie, they <laughs> bust that bitch. <laughs> Careful of serial mom. She's armed and yeah, fucking, fucking nuts. nuts. <laughs> If these cops don't just pop out with pistols drawn, then they obviously don't give a shit about catching this woman. Oh, fuck. No fucking way. Just don't hide in a bathroom or anything. Just stay in public, right? Yeah. Did that just say camel tips? <laughs> what was the fucking... <laughs> what the fuck was that <laughs> band name? <laughs> Before the cooter shot. I want to... <laughs> what? It's camel lips. Camel lips. Oh, and my God. On the cooter. That's crazy. Oh, 
<laughs> Sounded like the guy in the bathroom. <laughs> 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 no, he's getting passed. He's gonna get passed around right to her. Dad, now look cool. It's hammer jack. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. All right. Your your murderous mother's in there. Oh, man, fuck it down. Oh, no. <laughs> Why are you I would have looped around the back of the crowd and then ran back out to my car. Damn! Get the jacket. Stop, 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 stop drop and roll. Get the jacket off. Stop drop and roll. Yeah, yeah, roll, roll, roll. Everyone's like, yeah, that's so sick. He's on fire. No, no, what are you gonna do? No, no. <laughs> Dude, could you imagine? It's like, oh, the fire's almost out, that's and then assist, someone just that's like that's assisted murder, right? Like, yeah, that's... you're an accomplice now. Shut up. She goes, ah, honey. And milk. Oh, God. Can she get a fair jury? I hope not. Hope she gets an unfair jury towards the death penalty. <laughs> oh, hello, jury people. I'm Beverly Sutphin. Oh, I like your jacket. Mrs. Sutphin, this is a court of law, not a coffee clutch. Mr. Nasalrod, your opening statement. Damn, what a name. <laughs> Nasalrod. It's just got a nose ring. <laughs> He's got like a, a septum piercing. <laughs> this defendant, Beverly Suckfin, is a woman evil to the core. She just rolled her eyes at that. What the She's fuck? Like, <laughs> whatever he says. <laughs> whatever nasal bob. What was her name? <laughs> a toppled air conditioner. The lethal flames from an aerosol can. She's Loki. She's just, she's just yeah. here to cause chaos. Yeah. I've known this Sutphin family for 16 years. Dad, Eugene, he's my dentist. He has a gas chamber with a cross outfit. <laughs> so? It's a thing to like not wear white or something like Beverly pants Sutphin or anything, shoes maybe insane. after, I don't know. Oh, yes, she pain. committed these terrible crimes. Insanity. Oh. Uh. I wish to fire my attorney and defend myself. Beverly Sutphin is not guilty by reason of insanity. Mrs. Sutphin, a defendant who has herself for a lawyer, has a fool for a client. I don't think this is a good idea. It's never really a good idea. Not guilty, Your Honor. <laughs> Order. Why does she ass. feel like that? Like she's just gonna be like get her way or something. Like you can't just. I have a feeling in this fucking movie she is, and it's gonna make me so <laughs> mad. It's gonna give me. It would so... make me mad too. It's gonna give me so rationally mad. People, it's just a movie. Like I know, but it's pissing me <laughs> off. <laughs> it was her, Beverly Sutphin, sitting right there. I'm lucky I'm not dead. Do you drink? No, I don't. The day you claim you recognize my voice. You were not drinking? One beer with lunch is hard. Uh-oh. Admit you just lied. No, I don't, you bitch. <laughs> don't ruin this trial. Are you insane? No, I'm not, you motherfucker. Oh. All right, Dottie, you were of no help. Or Dolly, Dottie, what was it? Bitch, you ugly whore. Now She's got a thousand dollar fine and five days in, in the slammer. Your mom killed my brother. Ooh, come. That's cool. It's, it's cool, right? No, it's not cool. No. Suzanne Summers is interested in playing my mom. Who's going to play my brother? I wonder if Jason Priestley's available. I'm getting <laughs> so mad. <laughs> no, it's infuriating. And there's a reason why it's getting me so mad. I'll explain it at the end. Could you describe <laughs> the car? Not the driver. <laughs> oh, so it's just angry. the worst people in existence all in this town. Where did you find these books, detective? In Beverly Sutphin's trash can. No. If I were to look through your trash, what reading materials would I find? Objection. Immaterial. You may answer. 
That's a de no. What? That's <laughs> fucking stupid. Last night we found in your trash can this magazine, chicks with dick. <laughs> That's trespassing! Oh my gosh, it was his. It was covered with blood and gore, and Carl Padgett was dead. Did Carl Padgett buy something you wanted? It was chipped. Carl Padgett died because of you, didn't he? What? How is this gonna work? A premier magazine with the letters cut out, wasn't it? Your scissors that were found in Mrs. Sterner's stomach, weren't they? Oh my gosh. Do you recycle? No. <gasps> to the gas chamber. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking the judge himself stands up and grabs her as he. <laughs> oh, she's trying to like observe her because she's gonna play her. Oh, hi. What was the radio? What, what was the show? This movie is full of un injustice, and it's, and and it's hurting me. Rage-inducing people oh, excuse me mr pickles did you see anyone in the booth next to you? she's showing her coot because he's a peeper there was nobody next to me I just said what you told me to perjury is a serious offense mr pickles he's like yeah 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 yeah, yeah whatever you'll pay for this marvin pickles if i was on the jury i'd be like i saw the whole thing I, I, yeah, I'd be like, I think she just wafted her cooter air towards him and he <laughs> lost his mind. The defense rests also. If I was a judge, I'd be like, yeah, that's all great, but like, guilty? <laughs> Fucking dead. They did prove a lie. You just somehow, they're just idiots. So you're still going to get the death penalty. I feel that Beverly Sutphin is an innocent woman. Wrong. And I feel like you oh, clearly have Lord. a smooth brain. So. I am as normal as all of you. All I ask of you is that you have the courage to find me. Not a wrinkle in a brain inside in of this place. Room. <laughs> not a wrinkle, not a single fold. <laughs> we find the defendant not guilty of all I can't be the same race as all these people. <laughs> I can't be, I can't, or the same species. I can't be the same species as all these fucking people. Oh, I'm going home. You know, the fly is up there in heaven like, you son of a bitch. <laughs> he's knocking out, he's, he's punching a wall right now. <laughs> Bring her home, I guess. No more violence, no more violence. She's the one that caused the violence, you fucking idiot. <laughs> oh. Oh, I'm you too. Thank you all for coming. How many? What was her body count in this movie? Six so far. Seven if you include the fly. Excuse me, Mr. Sutton. Can I ask you a question? Did the system work? Do you think it worked? Yeah, she's, look, she's going to kill the chick with he the white literally shoes. Literally just got out of the fucking verdict. You can't wear white shoes after Labor Day. Didn't your mother ever tell you? Ah! Ah! Now you know. <laughs> Fashion has changed. Don't no. continue arguing. My God, what oh the my fuck God. is wrong with these people? <laughs> but no, but, but fashion. It's but, changed, no. I swear. Please. <laughs> <laughs> it's changed. <laughs> Are you being sick? Is she? <laughs> it's just, I, I look good in white. I you from sweatshirt? Jeez, Louise. <laughs> oh, really? My goodness, fucking gracious. What did we just watch? That shit pissed me off. I'm not going to lie. My blood's <laughs> boiling right now. My blood is boiling. All right, that was our reaction to Serial Mom. If you liked what you were watching, leave a like down below. Subscribe to stay tuned for more if you're not already. And if you want to watch our full-length reaction to this or various other movies, we'll get three edited movie reactions ahead of YouTube. You can check that out 
on Patreon. The link for that is in the description. Zay, what are your thoughts on the movie A Serial Mom? I've never seen. I know it's before we get kind of, this is supposed to be funny. Smooth brained troglodyte Neanderthal <laughs> of a jury and witnesses. That just got me so mad. You want to know why it was getting me mad, though? This is why it got me mad. And this is where I give kudos to the film. Because I think that there's something to be said about Serial Mom and her character and like the kids like making like money off of it and like she becomes as famous as like in a delusional sense. I, there's a like serial, well, it's like serial killers kind of thrive off of notoriety. Like we've seen serial killers in the past where sure, they yeah. get this notoriety and they're kind of like how Serial Mom is like not maybe to that extent necessarily, but they, they don't show remorse. They're like, oh yeah, like I'm him, like I'm the one, you know, they taunt the police, they taunt these people and everything so in a sense it really does pay homage to like real life thinking of some serial killers and how they fucking behave themselves now obviously in court that this would never happen i hope but um the movie <laughs> itself was hilarious it was super well done the court scene obviously pissed me off but i still give kudos it was great it was fantastic i loved what they did i still found it funny even though it was making me mad um you know i think that Overall, the film itself was a perfect runtime as well. I think you didn't really need much more. I think they kind of, and they got pretty much right into it. There wasn't really too much like lulls or anything for me. You could say the court was like a little lullish here and there, but not anything too crazy. But I think Kathleen Turner was fantastic. Um, I can't remember who, uh, I think the children were, were great. The husband was interesting and he was funny. And I think that the supporting cast, uh, whether it be like Scotty or Birdie or, you know, uh daddy or all the all like the neighbors beverly uh, no right yeah beverly all no, of beverly's them. the mother the neighbors uh rosemary rosemary and, rosemary yeah yeah so i think that all i think the cast as, as a whole did fantastic um into making this this like very funny interesting um take that you don't i don't never really seen any films that took on this take of like oh a serial like in this way a serial killer that's like but it's like a comedy instead of like something that's like a horror or drama or a thriller because usually that's what you see it in you know so um overall an absolute blast of a movie very very funny the the jury scene just pissed me off though what about <laughs> you cam yeah no i i uh i thought this movie was absolutely hilarious and yeah the same thing it got me mad too because i mean there are it, it does harp to or harken to like real life where um you know there are situations where both people and the legal system can fail you in terms of like the legal system has to you know like if they find or not guilty they have to go through with it yeah. and then also you've got the the whole thing where like some people man like they could, they could be swindled they could be easily convinced and um not all people but like unfortunately if you get the right mix you know anything you know you never know what can happen um obviously this was uh hyperbolic and extreme but it was still absolutely you know i mean it has relevance don't get me wrong and but it gets you angry because there have been situations where somebody would be like obviously ignoring like what's happening right now type of situation but overall the 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 movie was it was a lot of fun it's it was it was hilarious a lot of funny moments and um you know it just feels like this idea was just like someone was just like hey, what if we made like a mom it was like just it go crazy <laughs> or i don't know but like it says it's it's based off of a true story it also kind of seemed though it was um like they were trying to make that more of a comedic thing so i don't yeah. know i think maybe it, they just said it was based on a true story like to to add that that other um those other comedy elements into it but you know uh, ironically enough as a as a dark comedy as it was it 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 did have you know elements of horror to it and uh -huh. i love kind of how you know we had the you know the sun be uh you know appreciator of horror films and we had kind of like a nod to horror films in this movie while still remaining mainly a comedy we got to you know i feel like they did homages to horror films and i mean we saw texas chainsaw occur on the screen and stuff and it just feels like they did a really good job at kind of like um kind of acknowledging 
but also doing their own thing of the horror genre, even though it was, again, it was mainly comedy, but I mean, there were moments. So yeah. um, that was definitely interesting to see as well. I thought that it was, it had this like, it had that nineties, like campy vibe to it the whole time. Like a lot yeah, of nineties sure. movies have. Um, I thought the music like complemented the film really, really well. It's just, it kind of like, uh, it does suck that she got away with it. I wish that, wasn't the ending but you know it, it was meant to be this kind of campy type of movie type of situation like so obviously that was gonna be the outcome i mean i didn't expect that to be the outcome until at one point i was like oh clearly she's gonna get away with this but it was still a, a wild ride and a fun journey and it was kind of cool to kind of just it was like interesting to see like well, what is she gonna do about this what is she gonna do about that definitely wasn't the route that i thought that they were going with this movie i thought yeah. that they were gonna be like the mom was gonna be more like like murdering like obviously unjustly murdering people that might be a threat to her kids but it really was like nobody like was do anything to, to her yeah, kids yeah, in no, general. It wasn't anything like that so um she was i mean they did a good job at kind of displaying like the lack of remorse that psychopaths have and stuff like that again there was a lot of relevance even though it was a hyperbolic extreme and comedic example but yeah the pacing was great it was a short nice little package um yeah. definitely like kind of a fun movie to harp back to definitely a character that you can be like oh we got a serial mom over here like there's yeah. there's like you know it's kind of like when you see a aggressive dog you might be like oh there's Cujo, Cujo. or you know <laughs> it's, it's like that so like I can totally see this film being referenced and stuff like that and uh it was definitely a fun suggestion thank you so much Kurt for this suggestion yeah. uh with that being said Zay are you ready to get into the rating let's do it just so you guys know we go from zero to ten and we never give out zeros and we never give out tens why well because by giving out a zero you're saying nothing could ever be worse than this movie by giving out a ten you're saying nothing could ever be better than this movie both of those things are our subjective opinion uh and impossible to say five is average six is good seven is great eight is beyond that nine is top tier cinema we do get out of those importance like nine point nine 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 and so on if we so please zay where do you throw serial mom for its style and for the genres that it fits i'd give it a nine i think that it was I think it's deserving of a nine. I think that, again, you know, there's something to be said about not only them paying homage to like all to horror movies and everything like that, but even just loosely following like a lot of stereotypes that they find with serial killers. You know, the lack, obviously really well done with the lack of remorse. Um, having these these like covens of people that are infatuated with serial killers and become fans yeah. of them. Even she, even, I mean, she even had a voice message from Ted Bundy, you know, and it's showing that she was super, she was following serial killers. And this is a lot of stuff that you see. Um, and granted, I don't have a lot of experience in the criminal justice system. I did take, I've taken classes because I was studying forensics and everything. But these were things that we discussed in psychology and everything about there's a lot of, of breadcrumbs that can kind of lead and you see these patterns uh repeat so it was cool to see her be that whole, she was murder obsessed she you know was was a fan of serial killers you know she didn't have any remorse and um even her appreciating and loving the the fame that she had from like i'm serial mom yeah that's me that's me and then even seeing how you know uh the kids and people started trying to turn a profit out of it, like oh we can make a documentary out of this that's all the stuff that happens i mean even now i'm seeing documentaries start to pop up for murderers like from uh, i'm not gonna give any specific examples but i've seen a couple commercials that came out for real life murders that happened and it's like yeah they always try to flip into some sort of series some documentary so um it was really interesting seeing them take that real life aspect of it make it more fun and goofy and easy to digest not so like dark and you know crazy and uh, being able to package it in this interesting fun uh funny film um again great runtime um, if I had to um, dock any points for anything, I mean, I don't know. I wish, I, I don't know. Maybe it, I think the runtime was kind of perfect. I guess it would have been. It's just the dad wasn't didn't really give do much for me. I thought it was interesting with the kids because she it seemed like it was like a mother's love type of feel. Like anything that happens to her kids or could be negative towards her kids, she was like gonna kill somebody over it. I would have loved to have seen her do more to like Dottie, like fucking with her because it was pretty funny. <laughs> like when she was calling her on the phone and everything. Yeah. Um, so there was like some areas where I would have liked to see a little bit more. Obviously, the courtroom, again, pissed me off, but it was still good. And um, just overall, I think it was a very well done film, deserving a top tier cinema for me in the comedy department. I thought a lot of the jokes landed. I love the slapstick that was involved. I love just every aspect of it. So, yeah, I mean, I had an absolute blast with it. So I'll, I'm going to give it a nine. It's top tier for me. Okay. All right. I'm going to be a little bit different here. It might That's just fun. be. 
I don't have that uh, criminology background, that deeper appreciation for these things. I'm going to go about an 8.4. I still really, really, really enjoyed the movie. I uh, have a lot of props uh, for it, for what it did. I still thought it was beyond, beyond great. Um, I think that I really appreciate how they had the relevance, like we mentioned. Um, and I really, really like, you kind of touched on it briefly, but I like how they kind of kept it light and comedic yeah. and things like that when when you take a, a an idea like this and you could and and make it an actual horror like an actual mom that's protected yeah it, there there is an element of cheesiness to that because because it's like huh, oh the mom's got at it again she's, yeah you know? but um they were like okay well what if we make it comedy what if we intend it to be this way then all of a sudden that that cheesiness leaves and it becomes more satirical yeah. so i i absolutely appreciated those elements to it as well uh pacing was brilliant i never i i felt like it was a, a just a smooth ride all the way through to the end it didn't ever feel like it slowed down or speed up it's great pacing um i thought uh that i i didn't like the ending i wish it, <sighs> it yeah. I, I appreciated it um, and it's not that I didn't like it. It's that I, I, it, I, I would have preferred her to get caught or something like that. Um, yeah. I get that it's meant to be satirical and that's, you know, they're trying to make a statement and, and have it play out this way. It just, it rubbed me the wrong way because justice <laughs> was not done. Uh, mm -hmm. but I he understands the point for me. I got to dock points off because I feel like I would have liked it's it fair. better. Even if it, you know, even if ultimately maybe it started out going in her favor and then it turned or something, I don't know. Yeah. Um, or maybe she, you know, ended up getting, maybe there was another serial mom that killed her. I don't know. Something I would have loved been. if I would have hated it, but loved it more if instead she had flipped it onto Rosemary or Dottie and like, they ended right, up, like somebody, that would have been right, really funny. Yeah, yeah, like they yeah, somehow yeah. got, she somehow got one of them indicted. And in. even that yeah. I would have preferred over what we got, but still, yeah. it was still, it's not like I, uh, it's not like I didn't want what we, it's not like I think that what we got was um horrible it's just right. it, uh, i feel like there were better options so yeah gotta dock sure. it off some points for that and also you know i know it was meant to be campy but um the, there were some acting moments that were uh not from kathleen by the way kathleen did a no i thought she was fantastic yeah thing. um but you know from matthew lillard and the and the uh the daughter actor it just i know they were kids but it kind of there were moments where it's like Mo! like it just felt yeah. a little too much for me um okay. But I thought the music was done well. Uh, again, pacing, everything else was 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 really great. I thought the writing was fun. I thought the you know the style was fun. And I, again, I appreciate um, its its uh, you know its its message or its cultural relevance to um, things that exist in, in real life, but still remaining light and comedic. And uh, I might just not have that same level of appreciation because that's not you know what I went to school for or anything. Yeah. So, but with that being said. Um, Listen, thank you guys again for being here. Thank you for the support. Uh, Zay, I know you have a Twitch. Yes, guys. My Twitch will be linked down in the description below. Make sure you come through, check it out, play a variety of games, play games with Cameron. Let me know if you're from the channel. Love to hear from you guys. It's always a good time over there. Um, so if you do stop in, I'm much appreciated. And uh, yeah. All right. Check it out, guys. It's a great time. With that being said, listen, everybody. Don't murder. <laughs> we'll see you on the next one and peace, peace.